Hello, and welcome to Video Game Vision Quest. This is something for the night people. All the people up late in their rooms or on the job. Truckers, assassins, and of course, Dark Tower fans. What I'm going to talk about right now comes from a story I read on a Secret Sun blog called Let Me Tell You a Story, City of Sins. In it, Christopher Knowles, the author, talks about a series of murders and child abuse cases in his town and how they connect to MK Ultra and the Catholic child molestation scandals. It's a very interesting article, but this isn't about the specific article. You should all go check out the Secret Sun blog. It's a really good one. A lot of cool stuff on there. This little video I'm doing is about a particular comment that I found on this article. It has some really interesting stuff to say about the Dark Tower by a person named Rise Up Evolve. I'm just going to read some interesting quotes from it. I can say personally that through my multiple rereads of the Dark Tower series, I have watched and observed the story dramatically shift with each new revisit. Entire paragraphs, storylines, plot details change and reorganize themselves. I do not, I do take into account that my memory plays part in this to a greater or lesser degree, but come on. I have lost track of how many times I have explored this saga. There's something strange about that effing storyline. I have an idea, but that is not to share in this conversation. The Pennywise force is terrifying in any manifestation. Tim Curry's take on it still scares the hell out of me. The book has the same element of shifting for me that the Dark Tower series does. Only with that one, it seems to adjust in order to increase the terror factor. Not so obvious, but still noticeable. The it reimagining and the continual mishandling of the Dark Tower story would indicate to me glaringly obvious intention to sabotage one in favor of the other. The number of non-starts, players of, qu of questionable intents, and additional issues that I have not yet to find the time to uncover are there for anyone willing to invest in. So one, the Dark Tower is encouraged and propagated. Oh, sorry, so one, it is encouraged and propagated, and the other, the Dark Tower, is not. Through investigation of the development phase of the DT series, the poor reviews of the shortened runtime, etc., we can see that there were apparent attempts to throw a wrench in the works of that production. I should note here that I approach much of Stephen King's work with caution and a certain degree of mental protection and never and I mean never act as a passive reader. Buckers up to something. Now in the IT series, I believe I can say with a degree of certainty that it will be a box office success. Time to tell. He's right about that. It was a big success. And there are a few other things I agree with that interesting, strange little post. Shifting text in stories you thought you knew, that's never happened to anybody out there, of course. Certainly that. And I like his theories about possible sabotage of the Dark Tower storyline. Stephen King is in that story. 
I like what he notes here about Stephen King's dancing around how the series wrote itself. There's definitely something magic about the Dark Tower series. Fiction magic, sigil magic, chaos magic. tie into the Dark Tower. Was Stephen King up to something when he wrote it? You certainly get that impression reading the books. Anyway, sometimes a comment you find is so interesting you just have to share it with the world. If someone else is experiencing Dark Tower magic, I thought I'd share it with you. What's the best way to travel to another world? Check out this Stargate. This is Video Game Vision Quest. Thanks for watching, night people. The Dark Tower is real.